uh, we, we started to work on this idea a bit because we saw, especially in the United States, that libraries and maker spaces or fab labs were uh, uh, working with each other. Um, and we did some, some research on why they did that. And um, basically it's about making information available for people. Because when you're working with uh, digital fabrication technology, uh, it's not only about making something, but also about sharing your idea and sharing your product, um, which is essentially what libraries are about. Um, so we are here in Friesland, which is uh, a rural province in the Netherlands, um, which has some challenges. And one of the main challenges is that um, young people, um, especially when you compare it to other parts of the Netherlands, are uh, more uh, uh, are, are uh, um, having problems finding jobs when they are leaving school. Um, and in the end, you have companies, local companies, who have problems as well uh, because they cannot find specialized uh, specialized personnel. Essentially, uh, especially when it comes to jobs which require uh, uh, an innovative capacity, for instance. So we took that uh, element and combined it with setting up a fab lab uh, and developing an educational program to making the young people in Friesland uh, becoming acquainted with digital fabrication and hopefully in the end uh, um, getting more young people ready for uh, professional jobs. The um, most important <coughs> uh, um, combination or the, more, the, the most important um, a common ground is making information available, making knowledge available. Um, and uh, traditionally we did that by making books available or online uh, texts. Um, but when you work in a fab lab, you, you document what you do and making that available as well. Um, and this open source uh, philosophy um, is, is really important for libraries as well. So, so basically it's about sharing knowledge and information um, in order to make people more ready for their future and um, making people um, uh, um, or, or, or give people the tools to, to design their own future, their own environment. So there's a really strong collaboration between libraries and uh, fab labs or digital fabrication. Um, we, have, we have looked at the specific issues or, or challenges uh, this province has. So you have this case of young people without a diploma and then without a job. Um, on the other hand, there are some key issues uh, um, which are very important for Friesland. So water and water technology is one of them. Uh, sustainability is another one. Craftsmanship is the third one. So we thought about how can we connect these three issues with digital fabrication. Um, and we set up an educational program um, with uh, lessons and workshops and challenges um, to uh, help young people uh, uh, um, working in this in this in this field. So, for instance, we have a, a, a workshop um, about water and digital fabrication, and in this workshop, they have to build their own water cannon. Um, and they are using uh, the lab to do that, but it is essentially a lesson or a workshop about water and how to um, uh, connect sustainability, water and digital fabrication. At the moment we are trying to see how we can make this uh, educational program available for all 
steps in the educational chain. So from, from, from children to uh, 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 an academic level. And we are in talks with all the um, educational institutions in Friesland to, 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 to make this uh, uh, become a, a reality. And they feel it's really important, but of course it's, it's complex as well with all these different types of, uh, of education. But you can see that, that we have triggered some kind of uh, a notion that this is really important and maybe uh, a great way um, to, in the end, make this province uh, more innovative. Um, and and uh, at the same time, helping local people to be relevant for this province. We don't go to a school for free, so a school has to pay us for our activity. Um, and they don't have a problem with that. They do have a problem sometimes with the amount of money we ask to, 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 to let the bus drive and to uh, hire Marlene to do a workshop for them. They don't realize. Yeah, so we are in talks with our province uh, right now to, to, to getting a funding, to getting a subsidy to lower this price because we said uh, in, in the very beginning of our project that if a school isn't um, uh, um, able. isn't able, yeah, to 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 afford us, if a school cannot afford us, um, this project doesn't work. So uh, basically, every child, every teen teenager in Friesland should be able to use this lab via uh, the school system. Um, so that's that's very important for us. So at the moment we are funded right now is that we are doing projects. So developing our educational program was a project. Developing our program for other libraries to set up a fab lab was a project. Um, um, so that that's the way we are we are sustaining uh, ourselves right now. But we hope to get some. Well, uh, primal funding to, 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 to just make it, make it possible uh, to lower our rates uh, for schools. We just see what happens. So, um, we have planned, if it all works out, that uh, uh, we are visiting schools uh, between and uh, looking at betters right now, between I think 130 and 160 times per year, which generates uh, uh, a source of income, which should provide this bus uh, uh, to drive anytime we want to. Um, but of course, that's theory. We, we don't do that right now. Um, so basically, uh, when we are um, driving to a school or a library or a festival, we just make an, arrange, uh, an, 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 an dedicated arrangement with the people who want us there uh, and just see how we can work it out. Um, of course, being a mobile lab, we cannot um, have a model in which we say we are always there on a certain time and come in and use our machines and pay for that. Which is, which is uh, uh, often a, a model uh, of fab lab uses. Um, so, for us, so, so for, for us, it's really key to do projects, to get funding for projects, um, and by that, making ourselves uh, important for the region and then finding other sources of uh, funding. We are driving basically to France and back. Mm -hmm. And we are doing that because we were invited to talk about this project at, uh, at a conference about library innovation. Mm -hmm. um, together with a, a, a library fab lab from Cologne and a library fab lab from Pistoia. So we are in a, in a joint session in France. 
And uh, the Congress committee asked us, well, you are about practical things. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about setting up a practical workshop? Uh, and then I suggested to bring the boss, which was basically a joke, of course. Uh, um, but uh, um, we are doing it, and one of the uh, one of the reasons we are doing it is that we got funding from a foundation in the Netherlands that is about uh, adapted reading, which means that they, they they are making information available for people who are visually handicapped. And they learned about our trip and they said, you need money to do it, we can use the publicity, can you focus during your trip on the challenges we have? So can you, on all the stops you make, think about uh, solutions for people with uh, reading disabilities? Um, so what we are doing is that we are driving to France and back, uh, visiting eight countries during, during this trip. And uh, on each stop, uh, we are visiting a fab lab or a library and organize a session about this topic. So um, we are visiting, I think, between 10 and 12 uh, uh, labs during our trip. Um, and some of these labs already do research uh, uh, on, uh, for instance, uh, Brian uh, 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 reading. Um, and of course, we don't know what the, what the results uh, will be. Um, but this 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 conference was was the trigger to drive, um, and um, our source of funding basically. Uh, focuses on, on, on this specific issue.